Goodbye. <laughs> How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii. The uh, uh oh, the channel. <laughs> channel. Okay. We got this going on. Okay, got this going on. Uh, and over here. And oh, Bucky needs to. Bucky needs to see. <laughs> Okay. Uh, hey, it's um, Monday, March 18th, the day after St. Patrick's Day. It's Mongoose Monday. <laughs> uh, one day, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So uh, today I was gonna just I was just thinking about. I woke up early and. Uh, I, I just thought about the uh, thing I what mentioned. What year is it? It's 2024. Jeez, ghost, ghost tube. We'll get around to ghost tube and sorry, there's a video I never posted yet. <laughs> but I was thinking about that battle between good and evil, and most people will say, "Yeah, there's a battle between good and evil," and. Most people will say, you know, maybe not like there's the devil in the pitchfork, but uh, they'll say that there's bad things happening in the world and it's just evil. And obviously we got wars, not in, well, I don't know, I can't say that. <laughs> there's wars out there and there's wars that are possibly, potentially can get really big and there's what war entails, which is just horrible, indiscriminate slaughter, a lot of innocent, in this case, tons of innocent people. They're not even soldiers, they're gonna get killed. And people will say, yeah, that's evil. And then there's, you know, there's stuff inside this country, it's like, oh my gosh, if we lose our democracy, that would be bad. You could say evil. And then there's the personal life stuff, you know, and I've noticed, you know, you know, it just takes one horribly wicked person putting that vibe on you or actually doing actions on you. Sin. And you can... It's a sin. It's a sin. And you can feel it. I mean, there's a definite... Oh, there's an aura about it that's not the actual action or actual words. There's just... Maybe it's my feelings. But, you know, on deep psychology. Haunted. Haunted, like Carl Jung, Ian Haunted, it says. You can, I think, and, and basically I think it's like the bad guy, the devil, being on the side of people doing wicked. So you have wicked people, and it just opens the door for devil and demon stuff. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's theologically okay, too. I mean, that they'll, people agree. And uh, it's like... You know, uh, Nero fiddled while Rome burned, and the devil's like, <laughs> because some bunch of people or person are doing what the devil wants. The devil's will, not God's will. So, I do believe there's that good and evil thing. And I don't know why I got off on this. I'm, it's this tangent because Easter's coming up and we're going to be cleared and purged. Well, at least one religion. I don't know. There's other religions. Oh, let's get out of this comparative religion thing quickly. But with the Christianity, it's, um, you know, Jesus dies for our sins. And then on his rebirth, he's reclaiming the power to forgive sin and power over death. And is kind of godhood in the trinity with the father son so it's like a whoa with the resurrection which is easter so it's like a big powerful holy thing and whenever there's something holy the devil doesn't want that to happen so there's like stuff that i think because yesterday i had a bad day that's what it was i had a bad day a lot of things went wrong i tried to do something good a lot of things went wrong not big things but small like my little 
my little cork and my little tube thing popped off when I was in the parking lot. It's just pouring down on my leg within the parking lot of Costco. Okay, so now that we established I had a bad day as um, the work of the devil, let's continue on. Um, <laughs> I, am I overdramatizing? I don't think so. I mean, I know that other stuff. I got like uh, St. Benedict medal. I studied with the, you know, the stuff that the exorcists tell us, and, and we're gonna get um, spiritually good <laughs> and haunted stuff too. Even with the paranormal investigation, they're always like, spirits can influence electronical devices. So for me, it's kind of um, good tech. <laughs> Battle Satan, it's good tech. Anyhow. So uh, in the news, uh, our Trumper is trying, it's the weather's going good, but Trumpster is having a problem coming up with half a billion dollars. Apparently insurance companies don't want to insure him. Hmm. Go figure. <laughs> today's headline, look, look. Yeah, there's the rental thing. Let's see. Oh, no. Wait, I forgot to bring it up. Oh, jeez. I, I knew I forgot something. Okay, just a second. Oh, there it is. It, 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 there's so many moving parts. <laughs> I got OBS in studio mode, etc. So rental pushback, which means like these um, rental things of Bill, which um, is going to phase out short-term rental units. I think it's part of that... Um, uh, Thing. <laughs> but people use their houses to do short-term rentals and um, there's all kinds of weird problems with parking and different things and this and then they wanted to use short-term rentals for uh, uh, Maui wildfire stuff but it just says a bill that seeks to give counties the power to control short-term rentals even phase them out is still alive so there's all these bills that are still alive. One of them also is the cutting down the alcohol level from 0.08 to 0.03. So, so hey, you know, come closer. I, if people, because of this alcohol thing, people are like, you know, it costs a lot to, you know, get an Uber back. So they're gonna drink and drive because it's cheaper. Drinking and driving is cheaper for them. And they're like, I can still handle it. <laughs> this is this Dylan, the 30 year old's like, oh, it's just too expensive. I, I mean, uh, drinking's bad, but, uh, I mean, take it. I'm, I'm just one example. <laughs> oh, I haven't drank for a long time, but you know, if you have a problem, you can go AA, but you gotta say yourself. And it's hard to say the person people who need to quit drinking the most are the ones on the top of the list saying they don't need to quit drinking so it's like a, you gotta choose the the person and that uh here's here's sports the basketball people yay he's fired up i feel pretty blessed not completely but somewhat the, the, the right along yeah it's like sort of not that enthusiastic anyways just back in the oh these ladies i don't know they're, they're, they're all these bills. The bills to this, the bills to that. Um, and let's, let's relax. Remember back in 1951, when to relax, just like go outside and ride along with the, the guys. The perfect V or flying wedge formation. Oh my god. The flying wedge formation. Full complement of Honolulu Police Department Motorcycle Squad passes in review. Handpicked men by Sergeant Harry Phillips of the nucleus of a proud organization. Proud expanded to the future. Engaged in traffic. It's like solo. It's like, oh my god, these guys are like, you know, they're coming down. This is the HPD on motorcycle. They're coming down with the flying wedge. Ooh, don't be speeding. Don't be speeding. Don't be weaving. Don't be weaving. Don't be weaving. Don't be weaving. He's weaving. Finger on the pulse. Oh, look, political cartoon. You have my disgust, my hatred, my joy at your wife's unattractiveness, <laughs> but my desire to destroy you. You have my endorsement. <laughs> the GOP, they're just, they're following along because they think I'm going to get reelected only if I 
a lie that way. Okay. Um, hmm. What should we look at here? The hyena? Oh, here's another one, yeah. Cannabis. Cannabis debate sparks hazy memories of the 60s. Wreath. Uh, controversial cannabis legislation. Legalizing. Legisli legalization. Ah, it's early, you know. Legalization. Legislation. Did I say it right? Legalization. Leg the bells of St. Mary. What's going on? Ah, <clears throat> in the news almost daily always <laughs> always and having uh, having grown up during the drug laden hippie era of the 60s i thought i would share my own personal i'm confused i'm confused experience back then there were open and widespread use of marijuana i personally quit because i noticed my memory and train of thought starting to degrade i'm not advocating or or for or against legalization but in retirement i enjoy the occasional thc gummy when in las vegas you know where it's legal what it goes on in las vegas and all i'm saying yes. is that i think that i uh, wanted to say wait what was i saying orson moon i am uh, well, thank you, Orson, for that dramatic, dramatic, dramatic recreation of you losing your train of thought. Oh, short-term, you know, uh, you know, marijuana. It does have short-term memory. It bonds down the short-term memory. But you know, Orson, thank you for talking in tutu voice. <laughs> Might be just age related to. <laughs> There's lots of benefits of that um, stuff. Um, I worked with somebody who was. Uh, definitely um uh, a nurse and did all this research into the marijuana's uh, medical benefits and it isn't in the same boat as heroin but it's legally there and that's from the nixon times when nixon wanted to hammer down on the hippies <laughs> and create a giant herbert huber file and john lennon Oh, they're anti-war. Those damn hippies. Get them. Get them. And so they made marijuana hugely illegal because all of them were smoking and it was easy to just nab them. So it stayed there. And marijuana, I don't know. I would say it's in the category of intoxication of beer. So <clears throat> you shouldn't be drinking and smoking and driving. And I mean, heck, I don't know. Other than that... I wouldn't worry too much about it, except for smoke is smoke, and your lungs are lungs. Vaping is bad. But it's good versus evil. And I don't think marijuana is evil. Drinking too much is evil. Yeah. It deludes the mind. The mind tells itself its own lies and believes it. Oh, God. And it totally, horribly <laughs> changes. It. Anyways. It's Easter time, the time for the battle of good and evil. <laughs> Aloha, have a nice day. It's gonna be sunny day though. The Easter bunny, just remember, don't eat too much chocolate bunnies. <laughs> I mean, the eggs. <laughs> bunnies and eggs? I don't understand. Hello, baby. Hello. 